drug recall. I think most of us are looking for this topic, drug recall. Please don't use a word called as banned. It is not banned. It is recall. So because I come from industry, I speak in this language and most of industry experts, most of regulations, most of guidelines speak as recall and not as banned. Okay, drug is banned. We don't speak like that. So recalls of recalls is of two types. Uh, either you recall the complete molecule from the market because of the serious adverse event which drug is giving or either you will only recall a particular batch numbers which have a PQCs like product quality complaints like for example lack of efficacy there is a drug molecule which is not containing active ingredient as given on the drug label so now if you start giving the drug patients may die so we started giving one drug and patient died after autopsy report we have understood that drug is having lack of efficacy so then what we started saying that okay immediately we will report this and immediately that particular batch of a drug has to be recalled because it may be given to the some more patients and some more patients may die so now that comes as a batch recall we call recall as particular batch recall there were so many drugs which were recalled based on the batch recalls uh, due to lack of efficacies or product quality complaints or many other reasons reasons even uh, johnson and johnson was uh, in a biggest problems uh, because johnson and johnson came into picture when uh, the small baby powders were being treated with some of the reagents which can lead to carcinogenicity and uh, they were being put into court also and huge fines were implemented to johnson and johnson so that's something a particular drug recall of that particular batch number so they had some batch numbers from 2012 to 2014 uh, baby powders which were being uh, manufactured were having carcinogenicity so we should be very careful because we are into a uh, very much data centric society remember we believe on data we don't believe on words words are very sweet but we don't we, uh, we don't believe on uh, words i can tell you now that yeah coronavirus i have a good vaccine you will feel happy but the main answer is do we really have the particular data about that how many patients is being tested how is this randomized or not is this controlled or not like now people are saying so many things that after giving hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin for 15 days patients were treated now the isolation period is 15 days now if you don't give the azithromycin and chloro hydroxychloroquine also symptomatically if we give treatment then they will get okay then why should we give the load of the antibiotics the antivirals so that's probably we ask this questions so start asking questions start thinking different way or else it will be a different uh, situation yeah drug recall it can be a recalling a particular molecule or a particular batch number so i think there are so many drugs which were recalled and uh, even um, recently ranitidine drugs i think everyone have heard about it ranitidine tablets 150 mg and 300 mg particularly which were manufactured by dr reddy's because long term use of this can give a carcinogenicity remember this words Dranitidine, if I take for one time, it may not give a carcinogenicity. But when you use for a long term, you may get carcinogenicity. And dranitidine is a first line drug for any kind of drug which creates the gastric problems. Now, you give a paracetamol. As I said, pharmacovigilance is uh, something which you call it as detection and assessment, understanding and prevention. Last word is prevention. Now, I have understood that paracetamol is giving gastric ulcers. Now, how to prevent it? give a ranitidine it will prevent it so now every doctor knows only one thing any of nsaid combined with ranitidine any of the antibiotic combined with ranitidine uh, yeah i think phenytoin thank you so much hema uh, phenytoin is also been recalled late, latest recalled uh, that's what uh, hema is telling thank you hema for that and uh, even sterile drug products were being uh, recalled and uh, there was recall uh, for metformin also yes and uh, there were uh, many drugs which is ketorolac which was recalled and uh, next one some of the contraceptive pills were recalled 
and uh, there were so many drugs which were recalled because of lack of efficacy and uh, uh, lack of the right mechanism of action or serious adverse events so that's about recalls the list